I've done a few glass bottle popping videos lately, and uh, I've had some requests to try a uh, much tougher bottle, like a uh, champagne or uh, sparkling wine bottle. Well, sure enough, here's a bottle of sparkling wine that's been shuffled around uh, for decades, and never got opened and consumed. It's uh, evidently uh, 1986 is the date on this stuff, and when I hold it up to the light, there's a whole bunch of weird crystals and brown slime at the bottom, so I don't think I want to drink this. I think I'll open it, pour the stuff away, uh, probably kill a patch of grass with it or something, and uh, then we'll put in an epoxy plug, the air fitting, and see if this can be burst. All sorts of nasty, dusty residues around the cork on this one. As uh, soon as I took the foil seal off, it looks pretty nasty around the cork. Don't think I'd want to drink this one. The epoxy's nearly set. I'll be able to drill and tap for the air fitting assembly and then epoxy it in shortly. I've now drilled and tapped for the high pressure air adapter, smeared a little epoxy on the threads, and everything's setting up on this uh, heavy duty champagne bottle. Here's a quick look at the setup. Uh, for this uh, attempt to high-pressure burst a fairly strong champagne bottle. The bottle's inside a uh, wooden enclosure. Then uh, above it I've got some plexiglass shielding in between the uh, slow-motion camera's video light and uh, the bottle, so hopefully I don't take out the video light it's a thick piece of wood uh, b blocking uh, the slow motion camera and its tripod. And there's an acrylic shield in front of the slow motion camera as well. We'll see if any or all of this helps. I usually use a 0 to 500 psi pressure gauge, but for this champagne bottle, I've switched to my less favored 0 to 4,000 psi pressure gauge. Wish I had a 0 to 1,000 or 0 to 2,000. I'll have to pick one up sometime soon. Well, everything's as ready as it's going to get here, so uh, I may as well uh, get this going. The compressor is set for remote start. I don't want to be anywhere near an extremely high pressure glass bottle. If this thing uh, fails to burst, I have two choices. I can shut down the compressor remotely if there's a leak and just let pressure drain away. Or uh, I could choose to uh, shoot the bottle from 10 meters distance. I'm just hoping there'll be no leaks and the compressor will burst it. So, let's, uh, let's get it going. Start the slow motion camera. Got to my remote start for the compressor. Compressor is remote started, pressure will build. I'm going to be in another room. Flying glass is uh, nasty.
Well, it took me a while to get back after the bottle burst because I didn't even stay in the building for this one. Okay, compressor off. Uh, stop recording with the high speed camera. And looks like the containment worked well. I don't have a lot of broken glass around. Well, here's an initial look at the aftermath. Some uh, glass can be seen in front of the burst area. Basically, uh, none was able to get any farther than about two meters away. The uh, force of the burst did knock over a uh, one-inch thick piece of MDF that was a shield in front of the slow-mo camera. However, the slow motion camera wasn't uh, disturbed in any way. So hopefully we'll have a good clip of the bottle bursting. The epoxy plug survived intact as usual. Seems to be a very good method for plugging up a glass bottle. There were no air leaks, fortunately. And, uh, for once, a tiny bit of the glass has survived around the epoxy plug. And here's a final look at the uh, neck of the bottle. We can see in this view inside the safety enclosure where the bottle bursts that again the remaining glass pieces are not big at all. I think the largest one, uh, I'll stand it at the front there, the very center of the bottom of the bottle is the largest piece that survived. Everything else is uh, well under an inch by an inch in size. So that bottle was burst to bits. Well, there's a view of my lousy pressure gauge, because uh, I chickened out and went with the, the high pressure gauge rather than the 0 to 500. Hopefully, when I review the clip, I'll be able to figure out roughly what pressure that champagne bottle burst at. If I can't, well, there's always another video and another champagne bottle. Thanks for watching, and there'll be more to come soon.